Because after, in Psalm 26, he's saying, judge me, examine me, prove me, try me, search me, God, and know you know me, you know, check me out, am I right? He follows that up, I'll, read, I'll just keep reading from Psalm 26 for you while you turn to Psalm 139. Verse 3 says, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. Now, when he says, I have hated the congregation, he doesn't say, I have hated the, the sins and the sinful actions of these people that are being disobedient, right? He doesn't say, I've hated their sin. He says, I've hated the congregation. What is the congregation? It's a gathering. A congregation is just a group of people. So, I've hated a group of evildoers. A congregation, evildoers that come and congregate together. I've hated them and will not sit with the wicked. Now, I've preached sermons on this before where we've gone through Psalm 139, where we've gone through other passages. I'm not going to go through that. You know, Ecclesiastes says there's a time to love and a time to hate. And I'm not going to go into all of that, but there's another aspect that I want to touch on tonight. But first, let's just look at how interesting uh, this is because it, it's patterned almost identically with, you know, Psalm 26 is patterned almost identically with Psalm 139 when it's breaching this subject of hating somebody and then being tied in with someone who can say, hey, judge me, O Lord, examine me, try me, search my heart, okay? And one of the things I think we can learn from that and, and this goes hand in hand with what the Bible teaches about judging anyways, right? Matthew 7, the passage that, that everybody likes to turn to and says, judge not. And just they'd like to stop there and just say, well, you can't judge anything. No, it teaches judge not that you be not judged. With, with, for with what judgment you judge, you shall be judged, right? You need to be careful with how you judge. Because if you're just some hypocrite, if you're just doing the same things that you're teaching against, then you're going to be judged. So the same way that you would judge someone else, you will be judged the same way. So similarly, Psalm 26, Psalm 139, when they're bringing up this subject of judging people and hating the congregation of evildoers, well, you know what? You better not be one of the congregation of evildoers, right? So when he's, you know singing to the Lord, and the Holy Spirit is working through him, he's saying, judge me, because I'm not like those people, which gives him the ability to make these judgments, and to say, yeah, hey, I haven't sat with the vain persons, and I've hated the congregation of evildoers. Judge me, God. Am I, am I being a hypocrite here? Right? Am I doing the things that they're doing secretly, and, and denouncing them openly? No. God knows the heart. And, and if you are going to make a judgment like that, okay, just be aware that you better be able to say, judge me, O Lord. Examine me. Try me. Search my heart. 